if you can hit the robot's bodies into the doors, they'll open for you and save like fractions of a second. Um, hitbox timing on when you punch and broken. Alrighty, welcome back to Horrible Games 2022. Due to a change in the schedule, I'll be here for one more run, which is good news for anybody that was not sick of my voice yet. Uh, coming up next, we have Hippie Dater running Maquette. Hippie, whenever you're ready, take it away. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, I'll just go straight into the game because we'll have talk time to uh, talk about the game while, uh, while running. So we'll start in three, two, one, go. Good so, luck. thank you. So, Maquette is a uh, 3D puzzle game based around uh, recursiveness. Uh, so, this is the first level telling us how to interact with objects, uh, but a lot of it is a long walking section, and it's easier to go out of bounds here. Come on. There we go. Uh, and uh, we won't see most of this level. So, a sad thing about this game is uh, we sadly won't get to hear the soundtrack because all the music is licensed, so it's uh, nicely turned off. Uh, it has, um, like, for, in my opinion, some lovely aesthetics that fit quite well with the where the narrative in the story is. The story we also won't interact with because the cutscenes are skippable. There are some that aren't, but we won't uh experience those in the any percent run so we'll be going back in bounds here and because we missed the trigger to actually load things correctly it'll stay looking like this even if we save and, and reload so it'll teach us to uh, pick up a key and open doors with it but uh, we will just fly with it instead, because it's faster than opening the doors. You also move faster while flying than when um, when walking. And that's the end of the first level. So now we get to uh, more or less very shortly glimpse some of the uh, recursiveness in, in the game. So you can see we're walking around in a maquette, and we just walk past the maquette and those two are linked to each other uh, there's an even bigger one outside so when we grab the block that was out there it becomes smaller it becomes even smaller and at this size it can push us and uh, we can prop fly with it so we are gonna pop through a wall to hit that trigger there and another trigger here. And that opens up for getting to the end of level trigger, uh, which is across this chasm here and through a door. There we go. So the next level coming up, uh, you're supposed to end it by grabbing a gear and then putting it into uh, the maquette which will give like a small like the camera flying through the air showing you some stuff uh, and that will hit the end of level trigger but the end of level trigger is actually still up in the air so we can skip getting the gear if we can come on and sometimes it doesn't want to jump there we go and that's the end of the level So, now we are going to get to uh, another, just skip the entire level by climbing a bit. We're going to jump into this church here, which has the uh, trigger for the uh, end of... Uh, that. It has the trigger that spawns the end of level trigger. Sadly, the door here does not open uh, for us. So we have to jump back out, which can be a little bit finicky. And then we just need to click the bell on the church up here. And we're done with the level. So 
this level is in casual playthrough or very like just walking simulatory a lot of narrative you walk around in a town that slowly rises up around you uh, but we're gonna skip or lower the amount we have to walk so we're gonna go out of bounds again and we have time for uh, reading if there is any i was not prepared to unmute my mic just now <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good timing on that. Uh, yeah, just want to let you all know we still have some uh, donation incentives going on. The next one coming up after the uh, Liminal Ranger run, that's the next one, uh, I believe is Choco Muffins Left for Dead 2 run, or Left for Dead run, uh, or Left for Dead 2. And that one, uh, currently the Coach Lewis pairing is in the lead. Uh, but if you want to choose either Ellis or Francis, or Rochelle, or Zoe, Rochelle and Zoe, or Bill and Nick uh, as the character choice, you can get your donations in to make that choice happen. So, we are going to do some more prop flying here. And that is going to be the final part of this level. Um, so, the end of level uh, trigger, you can fly into it on a prop uh but the if you're still flying on the prop when you hit the trigger uh you will uh you will hard lock the game you will have to crash it uh so we'll try to avoid that and not be greedy because again you move faster when you're flying so you'd prefer to just fly all the way up to it and then just get off but it's not easy to see where it is so you can end up hard locking yourself accidentally. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, hard locking. It is a joy. So here we have a, a bit of a walking segment up to um, an area with some levers, where when we pull the levers, they'll materialize some bridges. Uh, the bridges will become a uh, half collision just before they're visible so i'll try to time getting onto them uh, worst case i'll fall and lose a few seconds uh, worst worst case i will soft lock inside one of them that happened earlier while practicing today the first time ever. Very interesting. Gotta have those moments. And uh, when we get up again on the next one here, we'll grab a small uh, replica of a bridge that you're supposed to use to fix a bridge with, but we're gonna use it to prop fly with and to do that, we actually have to jam it underneath here to walk up on it. And uh, now we have a bit of time again, so if there's anything else to read, feel free. Sure. Uh, I could let you all know that we are raising money for To Write Love on Our Arms. They are a non-profit movement dedicated to presenting hope and finding help for people struggling with depression, addiction, self-injury, and suicide. To Write Love on Our Arms exists to encourage, inf inform, inspire, and invest directly into treatment and recovery. So if you would like to support this wonderful organization, please get your donations in. So the end of level trigger is just below here. So we want to, I'm actually gonna do a safety save, even though I have safety saves there. Um, how could I actually need that safety save now? So there are different things that can go wrong here. Oh, it came back. Uh, the, the bridge can kind of disappear. Uh, what we want to do is get it to boop our head so we fall through the floor. Uh, like that. And hopefully... Nope. I missed the end of level trigger, so that would just be an infinite fall. Let's 
Let's see. There we go. And coming up is the final level, uh, where we will actually be moving the maquette we're inside. I'm gonna jam it up up there, then we're gonna fall in here, and this trigger here will spawn the end of level trigger. And time is coming up in just a moment, hopefully. There we go, time. GG's. <laughs> it's a short run. Yeah, it's a very short run. It's a very fun run, I can warmly recommend it. Very nice. Any shoutouts you want to give? Um, I'd, I'd say shoutouts to the, to the community, but sadly it's it's a bit dead. If you come and, and uh, want to get help, like join the Discord, people will answer, but there's just not really a lot going on, sadly. Gotcha. Well, maybe we can get some uh, some more people jumping in to, uh, to pick this run up. Get things going again. That would be fun. Well, thank you very much for doing the run. Uh, coming up next, we've got Osmorn running Goosebumps Dead of Night, and then Osmorn will be immediately following that up with a Liminal Ranger run, and we still have the donation incentive open for the ending choice for Liminal Ranger. You can choose between the true and the normal ending. So if you want to influence which ending you get, be sure to get your donations in. And now this is actually the end of the road for me here at the hosting desk for Horrible Games. But again, I will be back tomorrow, so don't you worry your head if you want to see me again. I will be back. Thank you all. Have a good rest of your evening. Um, this is going to be uh, my last run uh, on this host block for me. I'll be handing over to um, Osmorn halfway through the stream. Uh, so you'll hear my voice on the comms for a bit if there are donations and what have you, but I will be popping off after that and getting some much-earned sleep so that I can be back with